All right, y'all. I want to apologize for not having that whole video up. I don't know. For some reason, TikTok cut my video out. Like, I recorded, what, 48 seconds and what we had conversated in the DM. So, let me just go ahead and read this to you. Once again, Chris Nim is scandalous. Uh, shout out to Lavender Lollipops. The rest of it says that... um. That when she worked for Chris back in 1995 at Hook Productions, he was very controlling. He will, um, he wouldn't let the boys talk to fans, and even when she had asked when fans would call and show up to the place, she was like, um, she would ask the boys if they could, if they wanted to talk to the fans, and she said that Chris wouldn't let them. So he was very controlling, and she also said she was there when he managed um, Monteco. I think that's how you say it, Monteco, Smooth, and Girl. She said the office was located near Universal Studios, and that building has since been torn down. And now, and I had asked her, did she ever experience any odd behavior while working with others around the label? She was like, no, everyone was pretty chill, and the recording studio was located elsewhere. Chris had the boys on check and all. Okay. Like I said, very controlling. Um, she said there was always kids around. The Chalombo sisters were always there, Janae Eco's older sisters, and they were always unaccompanied by a parent. She said it was very rare to see where uh, not to see. It was very rare when the mom was there. And she also said there were they were a part of the girl group uh and backup dancing and at that time Janae Eco was a baby back then so and she was like she um left during way before B2K and but this part of she's like but that part about Chris keeping the boys is when she questioned after all the allegations came out so all the red flags she also had remembered Quindon being around Quindon Tolliver um I can't get his name right. His last name right. But um Quindon, may he rest in peace. Um, she said he was the chubby kid that was always around and she said she remembered he was cute and chubby and he was a very feminine. So yeah, and he kinda displays that in his interviews. If y'all ever go look up Quindon and wonder who Quindon is, go look him up, you know what I'm saying? He's a very good singer, by the way. Uh, she said they will also get lots of tapes of young kids wanting to sing. And she said she remembered that one day someone said he only likes kids. So, um, and then also last bit of it, she says everyone that worked there was young. They were all 18, 19 and early 20s, all females. And it was five of them. And she said, looking back, all the red flags. And she said, Montecillo literally.